Good morning and welcome to Journey of Crafting. Today I'm going to make a video that was requested from one of my subscribers. She had asked about a pocket for the large Happy Planner and I actually kind of understand her frustration because if you look up Happy Planner on YouTube you will get a thousand and a bajillion times like two of Happy Planner videos but they're all for the standard size planners and I mean don't get me wrong I like the standard size planner but a lot of people have the larger planners and they want to learn how to decorate them as well and they want to see different ideas and be inspired to do their own things so today I'm going to oblige and I'm going to do this requested video now she wanted a pocket um, I didn't really understand if she wanted a pocket um, to be attached to the rings or if she wanted a pocket folder so I will make both but in today's video I will do a pocket folder because that's what it looked like she wanted so the first thing that you're gonna do is you can you can I'm sure you can figure out a way to create one from an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper um, and if that's exactly what you want is to for me to create an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper into a pocket folder I will oblige. I will figure out a way and I will do it. Um, so, but today I'm going to say grab a gift bag from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I, I always have like a very small stash of gift bags for this exact kind of project, whether it's be folders, dividers, uh, happy planner covers, any kind of journal covers really. So I always have a stash and I have large bags as well as smaller bags like this. I do have my template out. So initially I was going to go with this one, but then I decided um, I was going to look through my stash on camera and see, you know, which one would be better. And honestly, I really, really, really like this one. So um, I might do this one, but it is, well, I have a personal planner for my big planner too. So this will work. We're going to actually do this one today. Uh, if I can get untangled from the tags of the bags, then we're going to do that one. So basically you just, um, you pick which bag you want and you set the others aside. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to disassemble the bag. And all you do with that is if it's in knots, you untie the knots. If you want to keep the, the integrity of the string or the rope, or you can just cut it. And that's what I did is I just cut it. So you just cut one side of it. You don't need to chop it all to bits and pieces. Uh, just let it, you know, fly out of your fingers. That works too. I don't think you'll need the knots for anything, but you know, you never know. I guess if you want to keep them, you can keep them. I did not. I tossed them in the trash underneath my table. Then you're going to take this tag and you're going to very carefully peel it off because you don't want to rip the bag. Cause you don't, honestly, I don't know if I'm going to need this portion or not of the bag. Um, so I haven't made this before. Um, I was sitting at my table trying to figure out a way to create this for you. And I figured we'll do it on camera. So I knew that I needed my template. So I have my template. I knew that I needed something to cut with. So I have both my scissors and my trimmer. The first thing that we're doing right now is we're deconstructing the bag. And not only do we want to take the, the ties or the handles off, we also want to deconstruct the bottom of the bag because we want to be able to unfold this easily. So just very carefully pull this apart because you don't want to rip the bag apart, but you do want to unglue it. And you won't need this cardboard that's in the middle, or at least I don't think you'll need it. I might figure out a way to use it. But as of right now, we don't need it. And it's very, 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 very thin. It's honestly, I think that cardstock is thicker than this stuff. So we're just going to unfold this bag. We're going to, it naturally folds right here. Okay. We're going to fold it and we're going to unfold this part. Again, it naturally folds right here. So we're just going to pull it out, fold it down. And basically all this does is it makes the entire bag lay flat. So you have this portion here and you have this portion here. Now, if you really wanted to, you could take it all and unfold every last bit of it until it laid completely flat. And honestly, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna unfold every bit of it. 
so what we did, recap, is we took the handles off. We took the tab off. We unglued the bottom. So the bottom is completely flat. We opened the bottom by using that natural fold right here. Then we took the entire thing and folded it in the opposite direction to lay it flat. Now we have this very large, gigantic piece of material to play with. So what we're going to do is take this template. Where do you want this? I'm not a, not a big fan of this whole happy birthday thing because, you know, I like the flower, but I don't necessarily want that on there. But if we get it on there, it's not that big of a deal. Washi is a great thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to line this up. And also, too, you will need to decide, do you want a full folder or do you want a half folder? And what I mean by that, a full folder is this size, okay? A half folder is a folder that's kind of like taken in half like this. So I'm not gonna fold this or crease this because this is my template. But it's folded in half and you have a cut like this. Or another half folder is where you have this sheet of paper right here and you have a pocket in the middle. Okay, so you need to decide first and foremost, what kind of folder do you want? Because you can say that you want a folder, but there's so many different variations of what you want in there. So when you're thinking, hey, I want to add a folder, think to yourself, what kind of folder do you want to have? Um, and try to go from that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is decide where I want to have this, the main folder at. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it right against this crease here so I don't have to mark that. I'm going to put it right up on the top edge right here, up here. Can you guys see down here? Yes, you can. Okay. And now I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to mark all the way across until I get to this point over here. I'm going to mark right there. Mark all the way up. And I'm going to try really hard not to cut any of this, the like the, the things out of the video um, because someone had commented, you know, well, how do you punch this or that? And I didn't think anything of it because it seemed, um, you know, quick and easy. But I understand that not everybody has exactly the same tools that I do. And also, too, even when I'm off a camera... I still have a ton of problems sometimes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are absolutely not going to cut on this line. What we're going to do instead is we're going to cut this line here. Okay, I'll show you guys. So we covered up the light and let's see. Why is it so dark? I have like 15 lights on you guys are on this. Anyway, so... I have this line here from where I marked it. We're not going to cut that. We're going to cut this crease right here, okay? And I'll explain that in a minute. Um, I'm going to try to use my trimmer for, yes, okay. So I'm gonna use my trimmer for that. My trimmer's upside down. So I'm right-handed and this, it feels natural to me to have it cut on this side. There are some people that have it cut on the other side. Whichever makes you feel comfortable is perfectly fine. Now, this particular line does not need to be straight. It does not need to be perfect. It does not need to be, you know, symmetrical, nothing like that. All we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have a, a really nice border from Sorry, it didn't cut through all the first time. It was a little too thick because I've got that folded material up here and then down here. Don't throw this away. This is beautiful, beautiful material. Don't throw it away. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take this part and we're going to cut it as well. But, um, no baby, this one's a little slick and I want to make sure that it's... Um, mommy's probably going to mess it up. My daughter wants to cut it and I normally let her but this material is very slick and it's not it doesn't cut all the way through especially up here on the folded part 
Yeah. Okay. So, but anyway, normally she helps me cut things because she can, so I let her. Okay, so this is what we have left. Now, if you take, set everything else aside um, to keep it out of your way. Now, if you notice that you take your cut pieces, they should be fairly even, okay? But if you notice, when you put them on your template or you put your template on there, there is a border. Now, we need that border. What we're going to do is we're going to untape this. We're going to fold across this line right here. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can use a scoreboard and a bone folder, or you can find my bone folder. There it is. Sorry, I had to rotate my thing. So, uh, you can use a bone folder, you can use a pencil, um, just flip it over and draw the same mark with your template on the, on the other side, on the wrong side, and then use your pencil to push down right here. Now this gives you a straight line. You can also use a straight edge, um, like a ruler. We are not cutting this, I'm lining it up. There's a wire in my trimmer and I'm lining up this with that wire to make sure that it's straight and then you're gonna throw your pencil on the floor you're gonna try not to cut the material because you don't want to cut it you just want to you just want to score it and I say that because I just cut mine now we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold it you might have to take this off yeah I think I'm gonna take this off this is bulky and in my way. So I'm just going to trim it along the side. And now I'm going to fold this under, just like so, okay? Now, you don't necessarily need both pieces to have that that border but it was easier to cut one piece once than to cut like take it all apart and then do it like I said guys I am doing all of this for the first time right now so I have not made one of these before this is probably going to be a semi long video because I'm not cutting anything out I am just I mean I might cut bloopers out but I so far so good I mean I talk a lot but that's about it all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to, again, set everything aside. Any scraps that you have, throw them in the trash. Um, forgot to cut that part off. So make sure that you mark this just to double check. You take your other piece and you line it up and you find your pencil that I threw on the floor. I forgot about that. And you just mark it. Okay, now you take your cutting preference and you cut. Can I cut? Can I cut? Yes. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, now we have two pieces of paper that are the same size if you fold this over. Now we, we're going to put them together. Now the reason that we have this like this is because we're going to glue this down. And I'm just gonna use simple double-sided tape. You do not have to use score tape. No, baby. You do not have to use score tape, no. Um, Okay, yeah, like I said, you don't have to use score tape, but you do need to use something that is sturdy because you don't want the, the pocket to come apart. And that's exactly what we're doing right now is we're creating a pocket. Um, and the way that we do that is we, we create this flap like this and make sure that it's folded over 
we're going to push down on the double sided tape to make sure that it's stuck to that side that we just stuck it on. We're going to line this up as best as we can. And then we're going to take the backing off of the tape. I'm going to do the inside first. And then we'll do the outside. And then it should be nice and stuck. And you have created a folder. Now, um, what we're going to do with this is this is going to be the front side and this is going to be the back side. Now, how we're going to actually make it into a pocket is we're going to put this side into the binder so it will sit like this, okay? And so this will be open. Now, you have two holes here. You can do a couple different things. You can put brads in there, cover it up. You can put buttons on there, cover it up. You can put washi tape on there, cover it up. You can put ribbon on there, cover it up. You can put the ropes back on there. Yeah, you know, honestly, your imagination is the solution to this. So I'm probably going to use washi and to cover up this as well as to seal the bottom because I want to seal that bottom. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some washi that matches this nice pretty and like I said, I'm not going to edit any of this stuff out. I'm just going to try to find something that matches fairly well. So all I did was I looked for something that matched like the colors and we're going to decorate, i.e. hide the holes on both the front and the back. And also, this is going to be uh, two things. We're going to hide the holes up here, but we're also going to cover this happy birthday down here because I don't like it. So the first thing that we're going to do before we cover that up is double check and make sure that when you fold this, that all the all the sides are at least aligned. Uh, it, if it's not perfectly straight, that's okay, but make sure that you don't have any white hanging off of one side or the other. So, and all you have to do for that is fold it in half and then trim off the excess side here. See, I had a little bit there. And I'm also going to do the same thing over here, but I am going to fold this washi over before I do that. And now I'm going to trim the bottom. Um, if you guys notice in any of my videos, my trimming is not exactly perfect. So I'm often doing this, not necessarily on camera, but I do trim a lot because it's not always straight. Okay, um, I think we'll trim up this top and then we'll be good to go. Another way you could do this too is if you do have a uh, paper trimmer, you could line it up in the paper trimmer and trim it very quickly and effectively that way as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to lay down the washi on the bottom. So the reason that we trimmed everything up first is because we want it to um, lay flat when we lay this washi down. So basically you're going to lay this piece down here. You're going to pull the whole thing up and then you're going to roll it over like this. Cut? I'm not cutting anything right now. Now you're going to take another piece and you're just going to lay it right on top. So this did a couple things. One, it's hiding the portion of the paper that I didn't want. And two, it is, I cut that a little too short. So I'm going to have to move this whole thing over. So all I did when I ripped it, I ripped it too close to the edge and you could actually see the edge. So I'm going to have to untangle this and lay it all back down, but scooch it over some. Um, thank you. So my daughter's like helping me. Yep. I'm 
can take a look at the rest. All right, um, so that's done. And now we're just gonna flip it over. We're gonna do the same exact thing on this side. We're not going to push it up. We're just gonna lay it very, very, very close to that bottom. We're not gonna go over it, but we are gonna lay it very close to the bottom. We're gonna scooch it all the way to the uh, side over here, and we're gonna trim the edges. Can I trim the edges? With my scissors? No. She's like, can I trim the edges? All right, so make sure you don't cut the paper itself because you need that paper to be connected when you are putting it in your planner. So now what we have is we have a folder, okay? Now, what you're gonna do here is you're going to mark the punches or mark the holes. Now, this is a smidge shorter than the template, so if I put it all the way to the top, you can actually see that it is just a hair shorter. So just keep in mind that if you make something like this, that you keep in mind the, the size of your actual item and the size of the template. Because the size of the template tells you how big each item is in your planner itself. So I'm just going to mark these and then I'm going to punch them out and then I'm going to... No, baby. And then I'm going to cut the slits out. So all you do with this is you line it up with this portion here, right here, and you punch it out. No, baby. I like punching I understand. And she wants to punch this out as well, but Unfortunately, she's not the greatest at lining up the holes, so I would end up with holes all over the place. Now, that particular punch took a little bit more effort because there's lots of glue and glitter there. Um, you can punch a great deal of items with these punchers, but the thing is, is how much effort you're going to have to put into that punch. Someone had asked me about the laminating sheets, I think it was, what kind of puncher I used. And this particular puncher, I think I did buy at Target um, a while ago. Like, I've had it for a while. I did buy a new one at the Dollar Tree because I couldn't find this one, and then I found it. Uh, but I've had this one for a really long time. I've had it since we were in Hawaii. And we were in Hawaii um, seven years ago, and we were there for four and a half years. So I've had it for a long time. It just really depends on like the material that you're punching. It really depends on how much pressure you're able to put underneath that punch. Like, are you able to put a ton of pressure under it? You know what I mean? I hope that made sense. Um, I think I cut this one wrong. I cut it too far towards the, oh well, it's going to have a little bit of a bigger opening. And and that's another thing too. If you guys make a mistake, don't like freak out about it. Don't like be, okay, I have to do this whole thing all over again. No, just roll with it. I mean, if you make a mistake, just let it be that mistake and, you know, go with it. Don't, don't let it, it ruin what you're doing. Just have fun with what you're doing. So... This is done now, and everything that I've set aside so far, um, I have set on top of my planner. So I'm actually not going to use these pieces here like for anything ever. So I'm just going to toss these. Um, same with this one. I'm just going to keep those three pieces here. Uh, so it's going to be these. And I can chop these up to go in my planner, and these can be pretty little banners. So anyway, I had to get this all off of my planner. That's the reason that I was like over there anyway. So now, I wish I would have got, okay, well, I've got some there. So you just open up your planner, um, put your template back. And so now you have a pocket, okay? Now what you could do with this is you could put it in here and be absolutely completely done, which I'm probably going to be done with this particular pocket. Um, you have a pocket here. 
I will make another video on to show you guys how to make a like um it's it comes up this way but it's like folded in half like this um, I can make another video to show you guys how to make that and I can also make another video to show you guys how to make this same thing but to have an additional pocket right here on the front and honestly it's the concept is super super easy um, I won't go into it I will make another video for that because this one's it's pretty long this one's already 25 minutes without any editing so anyway um, that is the pocket folder that was requested and you just stick your items in there and this one's not quite long enough to see that it's a pocket but you can just stick your pocket your items in there and voila and it stay and you don't need to seal up this other side you can if you want to all you have to do is put another sheet of washi down there you know whatever you really want to do but yeah that is the pocket for the big planner um, like I said, look forward to new videos about the different styles of pockets. Uh, those will be coming soon. So yeah, that's it. If you guys like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, comments, or requests, definitely comment in the box down below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. And I come up with videos every single day. I upload videos every single day. I have been keeping really good with that schedule. So definitely hit the subscribe button. And you guys can see lots lots of videos. I have a lot of DIYs, a lot of, um, you know, a cheap, easy way to do things, um, just simple crafting, um, hauls, all kinds of different things. So planner videos. I, I, honestly, if you want me to do it, then just ask me and I will make a video on it. I've had request videos before. I have done the request videos and I shall continue to do so. So without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching this video and don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye guys.